Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for 10 years now. Today I'd like to share Psalm 30 verses 1 to 12. Here's God's word. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried to you for help and you have healed me. O Lord, you have brought up my soul from Sheol. You restored me to life from among those who go down to the pit. Sing praises to the Lord, O you his saints, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger is but a moment and his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes in the morning. As for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. By your favor, O Lord, you made my mountain stand strong. You hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cry out, and to the Lord I plead for mercy. What profit is there in my death if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it tell of your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be merciful to me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have loosed my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness, that my glory may sing your praise and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks to you forever. Psalm 30, 1 to 12. And here's a poem I wrote, based, uh, or inspired by this psalm. By God's favor, one can stand strong. Without God's grace, favor, and mercy, life will be empty. We can overcome evil only when we give God all the glory. Do you think you can do anything through your own efforts? It is God's steadfast love that makes us strong and encouraged. He alone chooses whom he will give his mercy and favor. There is nothing we can do to contribute to our salvation. Without God's favor, we will easily be defeated. But by His grace and generosity, we can be victorious. Raise up your arms and bow down to your loving Lord. Declare His goodness and proclaim His gospel throughout the world. Reflection How should we respond to God's generosity, grace, and favor? Well, if you are dealing with a loved one and you are doing everything you can to provide for that someone all the needs, all the love and the provision, what would you expect? So I'm giving you back the same question that I raised on the reflection. Wouldn't you expect... Um, respect and honor and being grateful to you. I think that we should respond to God's generosity with love, the same generosity He gives us, the same grace He gives us we give to others, and the same favor we give, He gives to us that we give it to others. So God wants us all to be a generous and a cheerful giver. Because in our generosity and in our giving, we exude His love, we exude His character. We show others that we are serving Him. So God's generosity should be responded with faithfulness and devotion to Him by following His word, by obeying Him, by abiding in His word. And if we respond with... Um, stinginess or entitlement we are in for trouble so i encourage you god's favor is the only one that can stand strong nothing else can thanks for watching i hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for artworks photographs and a copy of this blog please subscribe to my channel on youtube so i could make more videos to bring the gospel to your homes